Have you noticed that people are treated a certain way? Treated with respect, with a great deal of respect, all because of the way they look and the level of charisma and how they actually are treated better than the ones that are not very good looking. They're like strange looking and lack charisma and actual real real um, social skills, basically. And you start to notice how, how totally unfair it is, especially if the person who's not that good looking, not that charismatic, is actually a very nice guy, a very good guy, a kind hearted person, but nobody f actually noticed it. They all failed to see his true self. All because of the way he looks and the way he's being judged. everyone once again this is dare to speak I had conversations about this before many times and um, I know I'm proven right it's just it's something that most people do not want to admit to when someone says um, hey man you're making this person feel uncomfortable you're making this person like that and, you, and I didn't actually do or say anything to them or whatever. But I still make them feel uncomfortable. Will I give out a vibe or something like that? This is, yeah, you give, you give out a vibe. vibe. Okay, in 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 a lot of respects, I can I could actually um I, I could actually buy that. I mean, it, I mean, it does make sense to me. I can actually believe that. But I always get this nagging in, intuition. This this nagging suspicion that it's something else as well. It's not just that, but something else. And I noticed this with other people, like, a, like a, for example, I use the word incel, which is uh, like uh, a person who who's not very attractive, has poor social skills, the way he was brought up, um, abused, or and this and that. Now, um, to me, I, you know, I, I think of the movie um, Joker, which was um, done by Joaquin Phoenix, which he did an excellent job. He played the life of an incel. And then he just, you know, everybody thought he was weird. They, they, made, uh, they said you, they feel uncomfortable around him and stuff like that. And he got screwed over, over. He got screwed over so many times, over and over again, to the point that he just snapped. Now... Uh, there's there's other ones who don't don't they don't murder anybody they, they just like you know get angry and they and they just leave. Now, the thing the thing about it is, which I find very very sad, is how they're not actually recognized or seen their real true self. Now, I can understand that a person is a psychopath, and that's that's one thing. But if the person is not a psychopath, they're treated very very poorly, and. There's a, there's a great, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit what anybody says. Guys that are uh, people, or not guys, but any guys or girls, uh, doesn't matter what, what gender. People that are very attractive, extremely attractive, will get away with a lot of things. They can get away with making sarcastic um, jokes that are uh, inappropriate or funny. Um, or inappropriate, funny kind of thing. 
inappropriate or maybe a little bit rude or a little bit sexist or, you know, something like that. It depends on what the joke is. And if the guy who's not all that good looking, who already has um, a reputation of being a weirdo, were to make a joke like that, he would probably get slapped or yelled at or be told to leave, depending on the severity of it, of the whole situation. But good looking people can get away with that. And I noticed that's what I've been noticing a lot. Uh, I noticed that a lot of uh, the behavior with, with people that are like the. Uh, the, you know, people that are char charismatic. Now, to me, char charisma is more than just a person's attitude and confidence. Charisma is also has to do with the way that person looks. A person can look like he's um, a confident person. They, they, they give, he, he just gives out that vibe. And they feel it. People feel it. You can feel it from, from 6, 10 feet away from someone. But there's people, they don't want to admit that, okay, yeah, this, this, this person is, uh, oh, he's, he's, a, he's like the sweetest guy, he's the coolest guy you could ever meet, and then, and then they, start saying, and they start saying all these good things about him. But yeah, you forgot to mention one part also. He's all that, like you said, but you forgot to mention how good looking the guy is, how, how handsome he is, and, and how his character goes hand in hand with the way he looks. And the ones that are not so good looking, the ones that are either, if you want to label them as ugly or, or strange looking, they have low confidence, low self-esteem, and how that goes hand in hand. Now, it's not, it's not their fault that they actually became that way. And pe most people just don't want to admit that they, they actually judge a book by its cover. And even and because of that, it, it, it triggers the, the vibration and they get the wrong message from people. So to me, it's not fair. It's not right. You should be, um, before you even judge somebody, get to know them first. Try to, try to ignore all the weird things that they do and just try to get to know them. Just, just get to know them first. And that's the thing that, I don't know. It's, I don't know what you guys think of this. Maybe you might agree with me. Maybe maybe not. But to me, the way a person looks and with the right attitude and the right um, charisma and how they make other people feel also um, is pretty much, the, you know, just as important. But people, a lot of people actually forget to mention or fail to mention either on purpose, which I believe is the case, that the way they look has a lot to do with it as well. You can, you, can, you can have a look of a punk. You can have a look of a of a uh, trashy, no good type of person. You can have a look of a of a nerd and you're being uh, treated badly. You can have a look of a person who likes to have fun, who likes to get along with people, and and he just doesn't care. And he's very daring. He can have that look. And along with the attitude of that, and then you figure them out, and then you get good vibes from this person. But there's people out there that are just as good, just as exciting, just as fun, but they're buried underneath their prison, that prison, uh, that cocoon of uh, strange looking or, or uh, not so handsome you know, or, or considered ugly or whatever you want to call it, see like that. And it's because of that that's been bringing down his self-esteem and his social skills. And he has no charisma. Give people like that a chance. Don't, don't be so quick to judge. That's all I'm saying. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. This is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.